Hi everybody, it's the Liquid Lunch, a special edition. It's me, Hugh Riley, and I've got a fantastic new co-host today, uh, Yasmin Ostovich. Hey, who's, uh, Yaz, I go by. <laughs> Yaz, we're going to call her Yaz from now on. She's uh, normally from California, but she's here today, which is yes. great. And uh, also we got uh, Daniel Case joining us here on the couch. And um, But our uh, special guest today for this special edition is... Uh, Chris Kaler, who's joining us via Skype from uh, from Winnipeg, and Chris, uh, it's really great to have you on the show and to meet you uh, using this technology. And uh, so, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. No, I just want to kind of introduce people to what, what you're do, what you do. Um, you're a quantum energy healer using the ancient form of pendulum dowsing for finding the root cause of all health problems, working with pyramid energies and various sacred geometry tools. Uh, it's funny because last night when we were talking about doing this, so we started to play with some pendulums ourselves. Um, and so we're interested in having a very uh, involved conversation, uh, but uh, especially for dealing with health issues. And uh, you use your open mind to, de to develop the fundamentals and theories for successful healing protocols um, and you're using those on clients all around the world. And uh, I, was, uh, I was speaking with Hayden, and he was saying that you're better known overseas than you are here in Canada, and we're, we're trying to change that here today. That would be a good thing. Uh, it would be good to be able to work in your own backyard a little bit more, but uh, the UK has been extremely big. Australia has been very big. Uh, you know, I was in at 7 a.m. Winnipeg time this morning working in the UK starting on, on people, and and it just bops all around the planet. It, you know, lots in the states. California is very big. People are very open-minded in California. Uh, so it's 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 been a, a, a wonderful trip. Every day I get to go to all these different countries and, and listen to different accents. Well, it's uh, so. First of all, tell us how you got into it because I mean, it sounds very esoteric, and uh, I mean, for uh, we we get to meet all kinds of people here on Liquid Lunch, but. Uh, how did you uh, how did you get into this line of work? Uh, it was uh, it was about 12 years ago. My my first wife uh, passed away. She had a rare disease called scleroderma, and at the time I was in the printing industry. Uh, I did that for 28 years. That was my craft. Uh, I was uh, in management at the Winnipeg Sun at, at our local newspaper here in Winnipeg, and when she passed away. Um, it, it uh, opened the door for me to, to make a decision to retire from what I was doing. So at 47 years old, uh, I decided to quit printing. And I went every morning to Tim Hortons and sat around with old people and talked about the weather. And, you know, long story short, the old saying goes, uh, when one door closes, another door opens. Yeah. And what had happened is I met somebody who does this type of work. And uh, right away, I had this interest in it and I thought hey this is something I need to pay attention to and because I'm retired I got nothing better to do I thought let's let's check this out and the, the more I was around this person um, you know seeing his craft I was really drawn to it and I started taking some courses met some other people in Alberta Alberta is really big with this work there's a lot of uh, wonderful people in Alberta and, and started developing um, my, my intuition and realizing that there's something big out there, something that we can access, something that we can use to, to better people's lives and health. And, uh, you know, uh, long story short is, you know, here I am today, uh, you know, 11 years later when I started doing this work, and I, I've got a worldwide practice, things are working, we're working on health problems, all different types of problems, whether it's spiritual based, whether it's physical based, and, and at the end of the day things are working for people we're getting all kinds of wonderful results so you know that's how I got the start it, it was something bad had to happen for something good to happen all right and we're actually gonna we should let people know we're actually gonna do some uh, some healing on the show today in the second hour and uh, both of you guys have some issues that we're gonna try to get Chris to resolve a little bit we'll, we'll talk about the details of that a little bit later um, but uh, Chris, can you maybe tell, and also guys, just remember, this is going to be conversation, so if you have anything you really want to ask Chris about, uh, just, you know, just bring it up. 
anything at all. There's no holds barred here. We live in Winnipeg. We, we got nothing to hide. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so maybe you can uh, explain a little bit how this particular form of healing works, Chris. Well, um, there's a lot of different forms of, of healing. Uh, there, there's Reiki, Quantum Touch, EFT, all these different modalities we, we call them. Um, so, so what I have done is I've taken a few different courses from, from different people and learned different things from people. And I took all the good stuff from all these courses and, and made my own way of doing things. Uh, so I basically cherry picked all the good stuff and, and kept it for myself. What, what uh, my method does, and it, it, as you said, it uses a pendulum. Okay, so I have a pendulum and I have a series of charts. So here's the charts I developed, okay? And within these charts are all different possibilities of, of what could be your health problem, whether it's, you know, uh, something to do with, with uh, anxiety, pain, headaches, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, we, within these charts is the answer, one way, shape, or form. So I use my pendulum and I ask questions. And, and uh, when you're pendulum dowsing, the, the question is more important than the answer. If you don't write, ask the right question, you don't get the right answer, okay? So, so that's the way I've, I've formed the whole system. So when somebody tells me what their problem is, I'll get a little bit of information from them and, and we'll, we'll form a focus. If, if you put the right focus in the right way, the pendulum, uh, I work directly with source, okay, soul source, and I will get the answers needed to move the energy out of your body to fix the problem. And, and if we hit the problem right on the head, generally most people feel an instant result. That's how quick it is. Okay, so, and then, uh, I mean, you mentioned a couple of health issues there. Um, I mean, is there any limit uh, to the health issues uh, that, that you can deal with? Because, well... You know, let's... the, of, of course there is limits. I can't regrow a limb, okay? Um, <clears throat> but ultimately, the, 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 the limits are, you're only limited by your belief. You're only limited by, by your doubt. You're only limited uh, by the way you form the question and the way you use the answer. That's, that's your limitations, really. So ultimately, uh, we're, we're manifesting uh, uh, a healing. We're manifesting the answers and as humans we have this ability to manifest things in our lives. If we need something, we think about it enough, you can manifest it. If you ask for it, you can manifest it, make it happen. If you, if you pray to God, say a prayer and the prayer gets answered, that's a manifested request. And that's basically what we're doing here is, is utilizing a lot of different laws of the universe, law of attraction, law of intent, all these different abilities that we have and using it uh, for, for a good purpose to help somebody with, with an issue. Okay, um, well I have a, a question for you. Do you believe that something from someone's childhood, let's say, whether it's a type of trauma, could that affect the individual physically in some part of their body later? Well, a hundred, hundred percent. There, there's, there's uh, a lot of problems are trauma-based. So, if, if there's any type of, of sexual traumas, mental abuse, all these different things can form blockages in different areas of your body, and, and generally in, in, a, in a chakra, uh, and that chakra will affect a different area. So, if it's let's say in your solar plexus chakra is a blockage that could affect your intestines, it could affect different parts of the body. So. Uh, hundred percent traumas I do work with quite a bit uh, and, and it, it does make a big difference. Louise Hay uh, is, is very big with working with emotional trauma. Yes, I'm she says that everything her. is yes. an emotional problem. She's right, but I go further than that and find out what is causing the emotional trauma. Okay, great. So, I mean, some people talk about uh, that disease is all trauma-based. Um, would that be a, a fair assessment? You know, our traditional medical establishment looks at uh, it either being a, a, like a, a biological problem, like a virus or a, or a bacteria, or it could be a chemical problem, um, especially in the realm of psychology these days. It's all yeah. chemistry. Yeah. Um, but uh, what, what, would you, how, what would you comment on that? There, there's um, a, a few different uh, aspects that I look at as, as the cause of, of a health problem. Now, um, generally, it's going to be some kind of energy-based 
uh, issue to, to work with first. So, so, you know, as I said, I look for what's causing that trauma. So generally, um, let, let's look at anxiety. Okay, how many people have, out there have anxiety? Raise your hands. Everybody's raising their hands. We all have some kind of anxiety. Uh, worry, fear, it's all a form of anxiety. Now, what is causing that anxiety in 90% in of everybody I work with, 99% for that matter, is a reptilian entity within the sympathetic nervous system raising up that, that system to create all this anxiety. The, the sympathetic system is your fight or flight system. So if you're always in fight or flight, you're in anxiety. That anxiety is an energy that these entities like to use as, as a food. They, they feed off of it. So the more anxiety they can create within you, that the more they're going to eat. So it's, it's something that, that they need in order to survive and, and that it causes problems within us. So, so there is, is a, a, an energy uh, trauma, let's just call it. So as you move out those energies of, of, of the extraterrestrial that's causing a problem, then there's, there's going to be some kind of physical issue that that, that entity is going to use against you to cause that, that anxiety. And that could be anything like, like steroids from, from, from cattle. It could be uh, glyphosate from Roundup. It could Birth be control pills. types of chemicals. So, mm -hmm. so there's always going to be uh, 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 an energy trauma and some kind of, of a real third world trauma with, within the cells, with, within the body causing the problem. Tell me more about this uh, reptilian entity, or, yeah. or would it be an evil a spirit, a, a spirit that has attached itself to you? Or if you are involved in the occult and you, you get involved in these things and, and certain people come into your circle, can they, can they psychically attack you and when your guard is down, these entities can latch onto you in your, in your moments of weakness and then, and then it, it translates and manifests into disease later? in certain areas of your body? There, there's quite a, uh, a lot of concept uh, about the whole ET thing. You can go on the internet and, and just Google the word extraterrestrial or reptilian and get all kinds of information. David Icke, David Wilcock, all the Davids talk about, about reptilians. There's a lot of different information out there. Um, but what, what I find <clears throat> is, is that we're a human being. We're born basically with a reptilian attached to us. Uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Um, some people can, can actually uh, sense that they're there. Um, so, some people uh, are, are uh, uh, energy sensitive enough to, to see them, okay, not many people are, but, but some are, and they scare the heck out of you, okay? They, they look like a demon, they look, they got horns, they got wings, they got all that stuff going on. I saw one right up close, right up in my face. I was halfway in, in and out of sleep and I saw one right up close. And I scared it away. Okay, I just said boo, and he took off. So, so they are there. And again, just as being a human, this is one of the reasons why we're here as a human race is for their service. We are slaves to them, to mine gold, to to uh, provide them with with energy for food. A lot of different things that are involved. Now. Um, there is another concept called the sacrifice or, or the, the ritual. If, if there's somebody in your life who is very dark-minded, somebody who is of, of a, let's say, a satanic nature, this person can bring you into their life and, uh, you know, through the powers of, of the universe, um, offer your soul up as a sacrifice to the dark forces for them to feed off of you and all of a sudden you've got some very big health problems happening you have a lot of psychological problems happening there's things happening in your life that you can't explain so so the, the sacrifice the ritual that the giving of the soul is, is another big concept with with the reptilians they are very much involved with it you know I mean there's a lot of talk about the reptilians uh, on the internet these days um, but and, and we've heard some of these stories about that we're a slave race to the reptilian overlords, whether those be the royal families or whatever, Chris. But, I mean, it sounds like what you're, like, the, you know, are they walking around or are they, you know, on a different uh, plane or dimension? Are they physical, like, physical like we are or, um, you know, how is that connected? Um, what, one of the big connections that I find is, is that uh, the planet Saturn, 
is a very dark planet. You can you can Google it and research it. It's, it's known as, as a dark planet. Uh, at one time, it was our sun. Okay, um, the reptilians for Saturn for reptilians is their home planet. So w within our energy, we have something called the astral body. This is where we astral travel, and, and a lot of people know about astral traveling. They do it at will, and they end up, you know, coming back with some health problems. But our astral body is connected to the rings of Saturn. That's how they get to us. That's that's their portal into us in order to, to do this this energy thing that, that they do. Uh, they're, they're not sitting right behind you. It's, it's more so that, that there's a connection and through that connection, yes, they are right here with you through quantum entanglement. They, they are basically sitting right here with us. You'll, you'll never see one. When I remove one out of you, you won't see one you know, going into the clouds. You will feel some kind of energy lifting off of your body and you might mm -hmm. feel a change in your energy when it happens. But you're not going to see one. Uh, it, it just isn't quite like that. I've had Reiki done before where I felt there was this uh, this thing that was there and it was just wanting to latch on to me. And it was a lot of uh, self-guilt that I felt. And when the individual was trying to take it off, it just wanted to linger and stay on there. It was, uh, I felt like there was like an alien trying to come off of me. Yeah. So they're, is that they're... related to that same energy you're talking about where they were, they're like sucking off of my energy? Yes, 100%. That, that's really what it was. And w with, within uh, the certain laws of the universe, if that person doing Reiki is making the intent to remove this reptilian, that's when it leaves. So what a person doing Reiki is, is when they're just standing running energy through their hands, all they're doing is running energy through their hands, which is not a bad thing. But that entity doesn't have to leave because it hasn't been told to leave. Okay, when, when I find it, I identify it, the, the law of identification comes into effect and uh, just like hide and seek, one, two, three on Yaz, but it's really Daniel, Daniel's not caught. Same thing at, within the energy world. So when I identify it, I tell it to leave, it has to leave. Okay. So it sounds like, so, so really, so are you saying that any kind of physical uh, illness is, is related to one of these entities, Chris? I, I'm going to say probably, you know, a, a good 90, 95%, especially uh, serious chronic illnesses that just don't seem to want to go away. Okay, we all get, get a flu and then we, you know, in a week or so it's, it's gone. Okay, that's not so much entity driven. There might be some other uh, energy components, but it's not really entity driven. Um, it's it's the, the 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 chronic ones. Okay, uh, the sciatic pain that just will never go away. The the, the migraine that is always there will never go away, no matter what you do or take. So so with within, within the clientele I have, because people who who uh, seek my help know about a lot of this stuff and they research it and they they realize that it's there. Um, 90 95 percent of all my clientele is all energy based and you got to clear the etheric uh, bodies you got to clear all of the aura and the chakras and the, you got to clear the soul and reconnect the soul in order to to get to the the, the actual physical attribute of the problem so is it entity driven I'm gonna say yeah probably almost every health problem of a, of a you know serious nature is entity driven would it also be true then that um, besides health problems other issues could be entity driven, whether they're, um, uh, you know, maybe uh, money driven, you know, somebody that just is always dealing with a lack in their lives, or maybe they are um, having a, pro a problem um, just with people all the time, you know, social problems. Conflicts. Yeah, you know, that having, sort of thing. Things happen constantly, Relation always always getting into some type of exactly. odd scenario yeah. could, could that also be um, yeah. well, how uh, Christians would put it a spiritual attack by a by a demonic entity where you call it a reptilian entity or you know um, it could be viewed as the the angel and the devil one one side of you is telling you what to do correctly and how to live properly and then the, the uh, the evil entity or the reptilian is constantly in your ear trying to get you to self-destruct and go the wrong path. Yeah, th there's there's definitely, uh, 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 that's all energy, okay, that's all entity driven. Now, now, to be fair to the reptilians, there's more than just the reptilians. There's the greys, okay, the, the, the ones that we see on internet all the time, 
the big black eyes. There, there's also something called jinn. Uh, the, the jinn are very big within in the, in the uh, Middle East. Okay, um, the word jinn in Arabic means genie. So the story of Aladdin and his magic lamp comes to mind, where he rubs the lamp and the, uh, the genie gives him three wishes. So there are people who can manipulate the jinn to do things for them. If if you listen to Islamic extremists, death to infidels. Well, who's infidels? We are because we don't agree with Sharia law. So of course now in North America, there's a lot of problems happening. Look at the states, they're, they're going a heck in a handbasket now, aren't they? There, there's a lot of, of uh, energy being thrown uh, in, in the, the way of the jinn and the way of, of different uh, uh, spiritual thoughts are, are, are very big. So a lot of the jinn are causing problems. If, if all of a sudden you're standing there and you lose your balance and fall over, uh, that, that is a jinn playing a trick on you. These, these guys are ruthless and all they want to do is, is, is you know, make your life a living heck. Okay, it happened to me about uh, you know, three months ago. I was skating, and for no reason, I live in Canada. I live in Winnipeg. I play hockey. I can skate. All of a sudden, my feet came out from under me, and I almost broke my wrist. You know, what better way to take out the energy guy than to break his wrist? It's mm. funny, yeah. Um, okay, so there's, there's no coincidences. Now, do you work with uh, people then that are having? Uh, some of these other problems, non-health problems, but um, do you deal with somebody who's maybe feels that they've got a curse going on um, uh, around money or around social issues and that sort of thing? Yes, uh, th there are a lot of people who, who do, uh, their families have a history of, of uh, doing witchcraft, curses, d doing different types of, of energy manipulations. Um, and I will get people call me up, uh, somebody give me a curse again, uh, can you please lift it off of me. People know about the curse, okay, a, a curse can be as simple as a negative thought uh, addressed to somebody. So if you talk behind somebody's back in a, in, a, in a negative way quite a bit, that's a negative energy that through quantum entanglement, it's, it's projected to that person and it'll create a negative role of energy within their body, then the jinn say, oh, okay, I'll get that one and they come in and make life rough for you. Okay, um, curses, um, when they say something runs in the family, so, so a heart attack, run in the family. It's not a heart attack that runs in the family, it's the curse mm -hmm. that, that it runs in the family. So if you're in a, a, in a family and you all have, yesterday I worked with somebody who had a, a lumpoma on their back the size of a grapefruit. And so I started asking him some questions and I said, does anybody else have this? He says, yeah, my brother does. I says, well, there you go, it's a curse. Somebody put a curse on you guys. You lift the curse and then you make the intent to remove whatever is there within the subcutaneous fat of the body and the problem goes away. He felt changes right away. So, so it's very important to, to know about curses, about spells, witchcraft, voodoo is, is a very big one. Okay, all these different types of negative thoughts, how they can be projected is, is really what needs to be understood. Okay, so, so once you can understand how it all works, how the dark side works, how all this negative stuff works, if you can manifest something positive in your life, you can manifest something negative in your life, depending on your polarity, depending on your frame of mind. Anything can happen at, at any rate. You can get up every morning, look in the mirror and say, I'm never going to get out of this crummy job. You just cursed yourself. You're going to create that energy to make it happen. True, very true. So let me ask you, so what's going on? Uh, I mean, Chris, you're bringing this uh, kind of insight into the whole health issue, but then you're, t you're talking about what's happening in the U.S., like on a global, uh, political, social level, uh, all this stuff. I mean, when we were kids, I never heard about aliens, uh, or I mean reptiles, reptilians, uh, you know, in royal families, or or you didn't even hear about it uh, being um, in your uh, affecting your health like this, right? So this is kind of new and you know cult culturally new information for you know f to to hit the mass consciousness here. And I know you. I want to ask you about because you talk about ascension, fifth dimension ascension, and that sort of thing as well. Like, what is going on? What's your kind of from a high level view of what is what's going on on the planet right now? And, and how does that affect us uh, as, we're, as we're facing individual health problems and that sort of thing? Okay, so, so the whole fifth dimension thing is, is more so a shift in consciousness. 
And you know, you can say the word awareness. What are you aware of around you? Are you just aware of what's in front of you or are you aware of what's 360? Okay, so a lot of people have had their awakening. I had my awakening in 2005 when my first wife passed away and I found this, this type of work. That was an awakening, like, wow, what is all this stuff? So what's happening with a lot of people, they're coming to the realization that, that we're all being blindsided by the governments, we're all being blindsided by stuff on the news, we're being blindsided with, with bull dung, okay? We're not being told the truth about things. And then people are going on the internet and, and discovering a lot of these, these different uh, 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 higher level energy things that are going on and realizing, hey, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so the whole fifth dimension shift is is a consciousness shift, and it's being facilitated by uh, all of the dark energy leaving the planet. Okay, now um, <clears throat> the the fellow who makes my tools here's here's one of my energy tools. Okay, this is a pyramid called a Vesica Pisces. Uh, his what he does to make money is he makes these tools and sells them worldwide. I sell them on my website. Very high energy tools. What his job is. Is, is to go in, into consciousness and clear the earth grid, but which is an energy level of all the dark energy. Okay, that's what his job is. So basically for two or three hours a day, he sits in, in, a, in a bathtub and he says it's the equivalent to sitting in a bathtub of water with your finger in a light socket. That's, that's the energy he's running. And he weighs about 98 pounds soaking wet and he says it almost kills him every time he does it. Uh, and that, that's his job, that's his calling, that's his dharma. Okay, so a lot of the negative energy is being cleared out, and, and that is uh, uh, all of the reptilian stuff is, is leaving. Uh, there, there's a being called the Sith, and they are a, a, what I believe is a form of the jinn at a different level. Uh, they are being cleared out. Now, of course, you've all heard about the Sith on, in Star Wars, and uh, what's the guy's name? Spielberg, whoever wrote it, got the name from somewhere, so he got it from us. There, there are beings called the Sith that, that exist, and I move them out on a daily basis. They've been cleared out of the earth grid. Uh, the gods of sin, all sin has been cleared out of the planet. All this dark energy that, that uh, constitutes and boils down to, to what's going on within our lives is being cleared out on a daily basis. We call it a shift. It's an energy shift of energy. That, that is exiting the planet. Uh, some people may just be standing there one day, all of a sudden they feel a little dizzy and weak and tired. That is some kind of energy shift within your body, releasing something of, of a, a dark nature, okay? It happens to many of us and we end up going to the doctor and he says, oh, just take these antibiotics, but it's actually an energy shift. So um, another concept is that our souls are being reconnected to soul source. Instead of the reptilians having access to our soul, now the souls are being shifted over and connected right to soul source. Some people call it God, I call it soul source. When, I, when you say the word God, there's many, many gods. Uh, the God of rock and roll, God of thunder, God of this and that. They all want to be gods, all these demigods. So I, I, I like to refer to it as source. So there's a big shift of energy, of our energy, reconnecting with source to a pure loving source that, that is going to bring a lot of good stuff forward. So, so uh, a lot of the bad things happening around us, a lot of people might all of a sudden be noticing that they're not hanging around with those negative friends anymore. All of a sudden they realize, I haven't seen so-and-so jerk off in quite a while because you are now uh, distancing yourself from a lot of negativity. So um, if you find yourself um, researching a, a lot of different things, maybe some alternatives, like maybe all of a sudden you, you have a health problem instead of going to the doctor, now you're researching herbs, now you're, you're researching essential oils, now you're researching energy healers. That is your shift, okay? And that is your uh, awakening of consciousness. So that's, that's really what it's all about. There, there's not going to be a big light switch flick and all of a sudden everything is white light and candles. It's going to be changes within your own consciousness. It all begins right here with yourself, okay? Uh, that things are going to change. You're going to distance from negative people. I've had friends for 40 years that I've said, I can't see you anymore, you're negative. And I had no problem doing that. So that, that is really what, what the whole thing is about. That's my, my take on it for the most part. And you know what I find within my work as far as, as an energy shift or a consciousness shift is I'm getting more and more knowledge. I'm getting more and more successful channelings from source for me to look at certain problems. 
Um, what, one day I was working with somebody in the UK and they had very weak legs and I was told to move mad cow disease from their femoral nerves. I, as soon as I did that, they could get up and walk. Okay, so, so that information is now starting to come in. Just as within you, within everyone else, that information is coming in. It's up to you to identify it, know it's coming in, and know what to do with it. That's the important thing. Okay, we're going to get into some heavy stuff here, uh, Chris. Um, and because uh, I want to ask you, I mean, you taught, you're, you just mentioned, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, though, but you just mentioned that there's lots of gods. Uh, you know, the god of thunder, the god of rock and roll. I know you're just kind of making those names up, but, you know, for a lot of people to think that there's like one god, one creator, um, to hear that idea might be a little bit disturbing. It is, yeah. And, uh, and I also want to, because uh, we, we, we were talking about, we were getting ready for this interview last night. Uh, Yaz was here and uh, we were, uh, you know, we were talking about the pendulum use because uh, I know you use the pendulum. And then we started to kind of note some similarities between the pendulum use and uh, things like the Ouija board or um, that Charlie Charlie uh, thing that's going around yeah. uh, on the internet right. now. And so I, I want to ask you about that. Like, are you sure that uh, whoever you're working with there, uh, what you're calling source, are you sure it's really, you know, God or, or, or the positive uh, creator energy? 100% baby, 100%. All right. Well, there's, that, there's I mean, absolutely no doubt. And and how do I know this? Okay. Number one, you got to have faith. Okay. That's that's what it really boils down to. You don't doubt what you're working with. Uh, if if you're getting results the way I'm getting results, and if things are happening within people's lives the way their lives are changing, you have to know that it is of, of a positive source. It it is uh, 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 the right source to be with, no matter what it is. Okay, I don't doubt it. I just go with it. I do my work. Things are fantastic. I've got 22 students. I've I've got this work. I have a course that you can buy on my website. I got students all over the world doing it and getting great successful results and and they all report back you know what the consciousness we're working with is really a, a consciousness of love it's a consciousness of source it is something that everybody's enjoying working with okay now um, and, and you're talking about you know the negative the negativity leaving the planet whether it's uh, you mentioned your friend who's uh, working to get rid of uh, some of the dark energy um, um, and and then on the other hand we hear stories and uh, I mean if you're on the internet there are all kinds of stuff that you hear but I, I want to just run a couple by just to get your comment on it uh, you know people are talking about things like uh, uh, what uh, CERN is doing and uh, that they're trying to create any matter or or dark matter or something, and that there's a some people claim that there's a an, an increase a, of, of more well, of more negativity it coming negativity, in. Increase negativity, a negative <clears throat> behavior in human beings. It brings uh, a certain amount of evil into people's uh, lives. Uh, you know, I don't know how how true any of that is, but uh, do you have any comment? Yes, I do. For, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying uh, Nostradamus has a quatrain. And it starts off by saying, Geneva, leave Geneva, bloodshed, bloodshed, bloodshed. Okay, now you can take Nostradamus any way you want, but uh, that, that super collider is in the Geneva area, okay, in, in Switzerland. Now, when we talk about the, these energies, okay, uh, they're trying to create the God particle, which, which is a, a very high level of energy. I've got it right here in my hand, okay? Yes, yeah, hold out your hand you've got that God particle, God particle in your hand. It's right there. It's right here within us. We can all use it. And that's what we're using when we're doing the healing, when we're manifesting things. We're taking this, it's a tachyon energy, for, 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 you know, to try to put it into a term that we can try and wrap our heads around. It's a tachyon form of energy, which is faster than the speed of light, and it has consciousness. It'll do things for you, okay? <clears throat> now, with CERN, if they're creating, they're smashing all these protons and they're creating this high amount of energy, uh, of course now that energy can be used for many, many things. So if you take and put intent into those smashed protons, 
think of what can happen at, at a very high level okay so if I can if I can heal somebody immediately using my intent think of what could be done by putting your intent as something with that kind of power okay so of course if there, if there are people who practice dark arts okay uh, Aleister Crowley all these weirdos who, who believe in Satan and honor Satan all these satanic people if they put their intent into that that collider there's many other colliders around the planet too. Fermilab is another big one right. in the states. Okay, so so there's a lot of them. So if intent is put into that energy that's being created, th think of what can be accomplished. So so right away the first thing people say is portals and and wormholes opening. I say yes, a hundred percent because I close off uh, stargates, portals, and wormholes within people's chakra system all the time. The energy in our bodies, the chakra system, can be used as an energy to open a stargate or a portal for an entity to come in and out. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yes. 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 So if you think of, of, of CERN, the, the, the energy in there, now, number one, it's either inert energy and nothing's happening or lots of things are happening that we just don't know about yet. Now, uh, of course, in my charts, I've got the possibility that, that the, the CERN super collider can be affecting your health really doesn't come up a lot and it rarely comes up okay now number one either we haven't got to that point in knowledge uh, yet as as to it is a problem maybe it's not a problem yet maybe it's inert maybe there are uh, forces of, 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 of love that are knocking out that energy I've seen videos of, of nuclear uh, warheads being uh, shot off on a missile and a, and a UFO comes and beams it and blows it up okay so there are energies here to protect us Okay, it, it, it is a, a known fact that there are energies, different beings here to protect us. So what's happening at CERN, I really don't know. I can't comment a lot on it, um, but I do know that there is, there can be possibility that something could be happening with it. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just uh, keep talking. I just want to bring up some of these seemingly very negative uh, things that are in the media at least the alternative media, um, just to get your comment on it. And so let's talk about uh, something, say, like uh, chemtrails. I mean, <clears throat> if it's true what these things are, they're putting aluminum into the uh, atmosphere, that's not good for soil, it's not good for human beings when it crosses the blood-brain barrier. Um, and uh, people are talking about, and getting back to the health, that there's a relationship between chemtrails and something called Morgellons disease, which is uh, not even really recognized uh, by uh, the medical establishment. And do you have any comment on that? On, on that? Yeah. Uh, now, what I what I like to comment on is, is things that I know about and things that I've experienced. Okay, chemtrails are an issue. Okay, uh, my, one of my best friends is a pilot for Air Canada. I asked him about chemtrails. He says, "There's no such thing as chemtrails. You conspiracy theorists, go have another beer." Okay, yes, but yeah. you, you can see that there, there certainly is this chemtrail, and there's lots of intelligent people talking about them. Okay, so that's number one you got to pay attention to. Lots of intelligent people bringing up information. Now, there's lots of scientists, lots of people who work for NASA coming forward and saying, yes, they exist and they're here for these reasons. Okay, now uh, I'll tell you a story. My, I have a two-year-old daughter now with my new marriage, okay, and she had this big runny nose, a big green goop coming out. My wife says, okay, Mr. Healer Man, can you please fix your daughter? So I tried for two days to stop this runny nose, and it wouldn't stop. So I had to sit back and think, okay, it's got to be something that I'm missing. So I asked my charts, and it said to remove chemtrail virus. So I removed chemtrail virus from her sinuses. The next day, it shut off like a tap. So right away I thought, okay, this is, there's the aluminum, the barium, the cobalt, all these things that are, that are within the chemtrail. But there's all, they're also dropping viruses from there, okay? Um, and that's, mm. I think that's more of an issue that, than, than the, the heavy metals coming out, because right. heavy metals are in everything. Respiratory um, problems. But I, I think the yeah. viruses are more of a problem. Yes. Well, that, that, that kind of, uh, you know, what could be the purpose of that and who would be behind such a thing? Uh, people talk about a depopulation agenda. Uh, that sounds pretty dark to me. Um, and um, if a lot of the illness that people are facing is uh, is man-made through things like the chemtrails, I mean, uh, you know, how do we how do we turn that around? How do we turn around? You know, how do we get rid of that kind of darkness that's trying to like you know kill millions of people? Well, there's you know, of course, there's a lot of talk about. 
uh, who's doing it, why they're doing it, and how do we stop it. So let's say there, there's, there's no way that we can stop it because we can't really prove it. Okay, let's just use that scenario. What can you do to prevent your, to protect yourself? Okay, can you put on a raincoat? No, you can do energy work. Okay, learn how to do energy work on yourself to prevent all this from building up in your body. So if, if, if you uh, uh, do some, some research on, on energy work or you even do uh, some work with another energy healer, it doesn't have to be me, it can be anybody who knows about chemtrails and how they, they work, you can learn how, how to remove all of these toxic uh, uh, things from your body. Okay, and it's just a matter of using intent. Um, I, I sell little little rings, uh, tiny little little energy rings that you can hold between the palms of your hand. When you place the intent under that ring, it, it, it washes your body of whatever it is you want to intent out of it. So that's a really good way of doing it, is just learning how to use your intent to, to remove it, okay? Um, as far as are we going to ever catch the villains who are spraying our skies with, with, with all this stuff? Maybe not. Are we ever going to catch the people who knocked down the, the World Trade Center? Probably not. So I, I think ultimately you have to learn to protect yourself, learn to, to, to cleanse yourself, find the right energy healer to work with and, and, and take care of the problem uh, at hand. And also I think it's fair to say we don't exactly know 100% if this is a black operation or if the government is simply just being irresponsible in trying to prevent you know global warming and this is the byproduct of what the scientists are doing is that this this uh, metallic particle aluminum barium chemical is is actually affecting our health but at the same time it is slowing down the uh, the sun from from melting the glaciers because when whenever I see those chemtrails out it's on a very very sunny day and you can see it it's it's directly under the sun and they do it all night long so people don't notice the next day if, if, if possible but it, it, you know what it could certainly know. be to, to stop global warming to, to reflect the sun and that's what they say it is the particles reflect the sun um, now are, are there are, are arterial motives, right. arterial motives along with it. Now what's what's happening is that the conspiracy theory mill is going overtime on all of this stuff, the chemtrails, the morgallons, the, the, the vaccinations, you name it, uh, the, the conspiracy theorists are, are going crazy with it. And that's what takes credibility away from everything is, is you know, the flat earthers, I mean come on, please, <laughs> okay, conspiracy theorists galore on the internet, so, so what that does is it it, it puts doubt in your mind about everything that you hear. Okay, so, so again, you, you, you have to take measures to protect yourself, to, to uh, educate yourself on what it is, why it is, how to protect yourself. If you do that, you're going to be a lot better off than standing on a soapbox and, and yelling at the government. Right. I think we all just need to be um, conscious of our of our spiritual self and have that connection with whatever you believe in and like you said faith is very important it does tie into that quantum world and quantum physics and by by believing you can manifest something but there has to be faith so even in even in religion and even buddha and and, and jesus and and all these people like that have, have always said that if, if you believe, if you have faith, you have to have faith. Without faith, there is no healing. So, you know, it doesn't really matter if you call it source or God. It's, it's uh, whatever you believe in, if that's your God, you believe in that God to heal you through that spirit, through that Holy Spirit, or through that positive source, love, God is love, that energy. And then combined with that, that quantum physics of, of mind over matter, you know, a hundred percent faith, believing that it's it's occurring, that you're you're curing yourself of this cancer, you're curing yourself of this disease, and and similarly in, uh, you know, if if you it's I've seen what you're doing, and in the church I've seen the same thing happen. You have to identify that spirit and ask it to leave. And once it's identified and it's asked to leave, that's when a process of healing can occur. But only if that individual is ready to receive and believes as well. So, 
you're, you're exactly right. You hit it right on the head, dear. It's very al aligned, you know. It, it doesn't matter what your faith is as long as you believe and as long as you know it's coming from what you believe in and it's curing you. That, that's so. exactly it. And, you know, my views are my views. And, and if you choose right. to, 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 to follow them, great. You're not doing me any favors, okay? But, but if, if I'm saying something that, you, that resonates with you, that helps you to, to realize something, to, to, to understand something, that, that's, that's what we want. We want you to be able to understand something. So I, I try to come up with, with, with a scenario that, that people can understand. Not a lot of big words, not a lot of words from the Bible, not, not a lot of, 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 of you know, jibber-jabber. It's, it's, it's using real words, it's, it's using them at, a, at a, a level that people can understand to try and understand what's happening with this whole energy process right. of, within humanity and the planet. To help everybody, because it's, it's also being uh, politically correct. You don't want to say it's uh, this God or that God. You're just trying to help people with the concept and you know the concept is is cross-cultural and it's it's parallel with a lot of different beliefs out there so you know ideally if if you can believe in yourself and in that power of healing that's i believe that's the key as well is just you know 100 percent right uh, just uh, kind of following up on that, uh, Chris, is it uh, like how important is the belief of the, the patient that, that th this will help? Like, uh, you know, do they ha does, does the the, the uh, patient or the client have to believe that the work will be successful or is it, uh, you know, going to work regardless of uh, how skeptical they might be? I, I did a radio show a while back and, and what this the host wanted to do was find uh, three people that that did not believe in this, that were just dead against it and did not believe in it, and mm -hmm. she did. So they, we brought them on, and I asked them all, you know, if they have specific aches and pains or something going on, and I moved the energy, and they all said um, something happened, something changed, my pain is gone. What did you do? And so, so do they have to believe initially? No, they just have to be willing to participate. Right. That, that's that's all that matters. You have to be willing. As soon as you're willing to participate, you've got something open. You you're curious, okay? So so you know they didn't get paid any money. They weren't coerced. They just volunteered. So um, now when when I take clients, okay, I don't go out and sell this and say, oh, I can heal you. You need to come see me. I put all my information out there. People watch and go, hmm, I'm gonna give this guy a try. Right then you've committed. So you book an appointment on my website, you've committed. I don't go out and sell this to anybody. I don't talk anybody into it. I just ramble on about what I believe in and what, what goes on here. And people re realize that there's some honesty to it. People feel comfortable with it, number, number two. And then people will make the commitment themselves. And then it's wide open. You can go ahead and do whatever you need to. Okay, now we're gonna get into some healing a little bit later in the show, but still, this is a fascinating conversation. I'm loving every minute yeah. of it. And I got a few more questions, uh, Chris, or a few, few more topics I'd really like to just get your, uh, your opinion about. Um, and, uh, you know, talking about all this darkness and some of the seemingly horrible stuff that is happening, um, I mean, we mentioned the chemtrails already, um, but I want to ask you about, uh, well, well, let's just go one at a time. What about the vaccines, though? And I wonder if that uh, plays a role in uh, some of the illnesses you might be treating. I mean, people talk about there being a, a possible link between uh, autism and vaccines. Um, have you seen that yourself? And uh, any comments, Chris? Um, the, the, the whole concept of vaccine, um, I don't see it a lot. Okay, I, I do once in a while find the, the mercury uh, with, within uh, the vaccination uh, to, to, to plug up some areas in the brain um, a little bit. But what I always find within the vaccine is what's taking a ride in with the vaccine. So if there's an entity that wants to get into your body, the aura is our protection. We all have an aura. If there's no cracks in the aura, if everything's nice and healthy, they need a way to get in. And it's usually some kind of negative way. And a vaccine is a, is a negative way. It's an intrusive thing. You're going to poke into your skin. So an entities can, can get into that vaccine and then get into your body. That That is what I find mostly. Okay. And it's, 
Uh, when you're when you're uh, getting a needle in a vaccine, it's much like a, a, a ritual sacrifice. You just sacrificed yourself, okay, by by doing that. It's a sacrificial ritual. That that's what it ends up being. And then your soul and your energy and your body ends up uh, being uh, uh, sacrificed in, in certain ways. You can almost envision uh, an altar and and being tied down and things going on. Okay, that that is what happens. I, I work with many clients who wake up in the middle of the night and they feel like they're being sexually assaulted, and they actually see a bit of blood on the, on the sheets. It, it it happens. So um, when, when you're when you're agreeing to take that that let's let's call it a covenant. Let's let's call it uh, almost like a, an oath. When you get a vaccine, you're you're giving yourself to whatever is in that vaccine, which is some some kind of dark entity. So it's the components of the vaccine. I mean, if you're a baby and you get 12 vaccines, and uh, you know, yeah, there's going to be some problems. But as you get older, are the vaccines really that bad? I don't find it a lot. Okay, I don't I don't condone vaccines. My my children aren't vaccinated. We're, I'm never going to do that. But um, I don't really see it at that big of a level okay now if I do find it it might be the, the nano aluminum or the mercury or something else another adjunct within the, the vaccine that might be causing a problem um, but it, it does for me it, it's not really comes up as that big of a deal um, maybe not yet I don't know but it's, it's just not you know for, for the vaccine itself not so much well let me ask you about the the autism then just because there is such a prevalence of it and it seems obviously it's been increasing uh ridiculously since uh since whenever we, yeah. right since the like, 90s or it's earlier just so flourishing everywhere and uh have you had any experience of dealing with uh autistic clients um chris and uh what comes what does come up then for you well, uh, I am working with with one person right now in the states. Uh, I, I believe he's uh, you know an early teenager, and uh, what I've been moving a lot of is is all these different consciousness. Now, the big one with autism is the consciousness of Set, and Set is from Egyptian mythology. S E T H. Set is is for all intents and purposes. Let's call him the devil. There, the devil doesn't exist, but if there was one of that energy, it would be Set. Okay. So as, again, when you get all these vaccinations, you're, you are giving yourself up as a sacrifice and then all these other things start to come into play, L lower dimensions, uh, d different entities here, there and everywhere, all these different things happening within a person's energy that, that is causing the, this, this construct, the deconstruct of a person's mind. So, so again, it's, it's uh, more so all the negative energy components along with it. If it was just mercury and aluminum, we can get rid of that in a second. The guy's fine. But no, they're not. They, they need to go to a lot much different level to find all these problems. Do you know what the reason is then that, that we're seeing this uh, epidemic in autism? Uh, well, uh, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of different things, I, I would say. Um, the, the people I work with, again, it's, it's all to do with, with lower dimensional energy, with, with uh, sacrifices and, and rituals. Um, and, you know, people are, are getting more vaccinations. Okay? I can say one thing, though. Russell Blaylock. Anyone whose child is suffering from autism, you need to watch his DVD. He was a neurosurgeon. He made incredible um, revelations about the chemicals that are in those vaccinations. What happens when companies like Merck, who are a Nazi company, are combining these uh, vaccinations together? Certain children's brain have complete overload. They can't handle that amount of chemicals in the brain. You know, um, I've seen it happen to my friend's child uh, a week after it, it, it got its vac uh, her son got his vaccination at school. So um, it did slow down, I think, after they were taken to trial to take the mercury out, but they simply just uh, replaced it with thimerosal, which is the same thing as... Name. Same thing as NutraSweet and Aspartame. They just give it a different name, and it's the same thing. But it's interesting that what you're saying, Chris, is that it's it's a what an Egyptian god, Egyptian, uh, yeah, Egyptian god named Set, um, who's actually reptilian. Okay, you look at reptilian records and you see, or Egyptian records. You look at all the hieroglyphs, and you know 
what what person has the head of a bird? Okay, I mean th this is all <laughs> uh, at a, a much different level uh, than just a human in, in Egypt. Okay, it's 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 much different. Now, one thing that does happen with with the the, the components in in a vaccination with aspartame, with with uh, glyphosate, with anything, is it causes the 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 carbon element within our body. We're carbon-based life forms. The carbon element has four different electrons. It causes one of those electrons to split out. So now the, the cells start to separate, and, and that is called oxidation or free radicals. So that creates another problem. So, so it's not so much uh, the, 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 the thing itself, because that's run its course. Now the damage it's done is, is in that carbon element that you need to repair and replace all the, uh, the electrons back. Okay, so, uh, so we've been going for about an hour here, Chris, and uh, I, I, we were talking about getting into some actual uh, healing. Well, I was going to say hands-on, but uh, we're, it's remote, obviously, uh, distance healing because you're uh, in Winnipeg. And uh, we've got our third guest joining us here uh, on the couch. Uh, we've got Hilton joining us. Hilton, Welcome. great to have Welcome. you here. Thanks for, uh, Thanks for coming today. making it out. Thank you, Hugh. How's it going? Ah, most excellent. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, wh where do you want to start, or who do you want to start with? Uh, okay. And I don't know if we've identified the issues we're going to be dealing with yet. Uh, yeah. We should probably we're going to start with Yaz because uh, her her issue, I think, is going to be uh, a little bit more simpler to work with. Okay. And uh, da Daniel, I mean, we're we're going we're going to identify some stuff within you. Uh, whether you get a, a result out of this today, you you might feel something happen, but uh, something with, with what you're going through is, might take a few sessions, okay? And, and Hilton, s same thing with you, buddy, but uh, you, anything can happen today, right? Yes. Today's a good day. Uh, yes, it's a grand day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll start, uh, Chris, I mean, you know, if you have a other idea, but maybe we'll we'll start, if we're going to start with Yaz, she can talk about uh, the issue she uh, wants yes. you to help with. And then uh, maybe also, I don't know if, w w I don't know exactly what it's going to look like when you're going to do what you're going to do, but maybe if people have questions or comments as we go through this process, if that's okay, that we can just keep the conversation going while we're uh, sure. going Absolutely. through this? Okay. So we'll start with Yaz, I guess. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. So do you want to just know what I'm yeah, trying Chris. to get yeah. rid of or... Yeah, Chris, you want to kind of lead her through, I guess, the process? Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm already dowsing this. Hold on a second. Big problem is high levels of... High levels of... I think things started going downhill when I was going through a divorce and a friend of mine said, hey, let's go to a Santeria shop. I'm going to get you these candles and it's for good positive energy and it's for this and it's for that. And these individuals ended up being shut down in San Francisco. They were doing um, sacrifices with like baby chicks. She, she said that I had a curse on me and she wanted to use a, a chick to do a, a, a ritual to cleanse me of the curse of the hex. Luckily, the day before I was supposed to go for a cleanse, she, I, was, uh, I was at a Life Expo conference and a Vedic palm reader told me that they wanted to spiritually murder me. Spiritually murder me. So when you say stuff like that your soul can be offered up as a sacrifice, I 100% believe that we are walking this earth with people who are loyal to these demonic entities who are using other individuals to feed those demonic entities and to increase their power because you can get power from the darkness you can get yes, power yes. from witchcraft from the golden dawn from all these satanic orders there is power in that but it's not coming from god it's coming from a demonic source and it's eventually gonna take over your soul and and make you use it for for bad so you know I know there's some people that say that there's there's people that use these things and these herbs and these spells and things for good but it's it's a powerful field that you're working with and it can start to lead you 
the wrong way. So yeah. I just stick with what I know and what I feel is right now, and it's it's I've been delivered from that world, and I'm. Okay. You happy. still have a curse on you. There is still a curse there. Now, now the issue you have is is lower back pain, and it goes down into the legs. Uh, correct. Um, to, it lately it's been a little bit in my leg, like. And a couple of days ago, it was in both of my legs. I went for acupuncture, and when she put the needle in my in my ankle right here, she put the needle right here on my ankle, uh, above my ankle, on this right foot, and I felt I screamed. There was so much energy there, and that's my my hormones. There was a huge explosion of energy in my foot right there, and I I've, I've been struggling with this like hormonal thing for years and years and years just it's like I can't feel like I'm my energy does not feel normal it, it just doesn't feel I don't feel calm okay, what we're gonna do first is we're, we're gonna take a, a curse out of your soul okay so we're gonna take this lovely device I'm gonna hold it up to the camera and direct it at at you Yaz and I'm gonna make the intent to lift this curse Okay. As this happens, you might feel as if something has left your body. You might feel a little lighter. You might feel some temperature change or something, okay? Now, if anybody else is watching, whoever's watching this on the podcast or live, if you have a curse within your soul, it may also lift out of your body. So, so if you want to participate, you can. If you don't want to, just make the intent. You don't want to participate, and it's all good, all right? Here we Chris, go. Chris, could you also... Um Hmm? intent for my sister the family soul my okay. family because so it's, it's, it's going to address the whole family it's generational sure okay here we go within yaz's family soul within the family soul all curses false lift all curses within the family soul family soul curses false all curses false Okay, that is just lifted. So you let me know when you feel a little bit of an energy shift. Okay, now what problem do we need to work on within Yaz? And the problem is... is okay, both sister and Yaz are, are now cleared of the curse. Okay, the curse is lifted. Okay is from wow. okay so mm -hmm. now we're going to remove out of your body Lucifer's gin okay so all these demonics access the gins so we're going to remove Lucifer's gin out of where move it out of her okay we're going to move Lucifer's gin out of the veins in your legs there we go. Within the veins in Yaz's legs, veins and arteries, Lucifer's gin, false. Cast out Lucifer's gin from the veins within the legs. From the meridians, from the veins within the legs, Lucifer's gin is now leaving. Now, you're yawning like a son of a gun. That's I, a sign that the energy left. I always yawn when I feel like I'm entering into a more calm spiritual the, state. The, the yawn is a very big giveaway that energy is leaving. All, almost all of my clients will yawn as soon as something leaves. How do the legs feel right now? I don't feel the pain in the leg anymore. Um, it was this morning and I don't really feel the pain anymore. I, I don't know if it was affecting me while I was sitting, though. But um, but I do feel very happy and positive that uh, that you're doing this work on me because it's uh, it's been a long time. I think this has been uh, affecting my family. So okay, let's let's do one more clearing. Uh, with, with I have yeah, a lot of see. right here, like this this area, a lot of. Uh, oppression and guilt and just right here in this okay. in my chest within her okay give me one second bear with me for a minute okay 
this is where the anxiety affects me right here and also it used to affect me in this chakra in my stomach that was okay. after the uh when, when i was with the abusive boyfriend this chakra was always hurting me it felt like a brick in my gut okay so so you just said the word anxiety so you do experience anxiety anxiety and also some depression around the time of my period because it's okay. it's my hormones from taking birth control and it just it's it, i i could be emotional for no reason at all and it'll just it'll just grip me and i know that it's not me i know that it's something that's pushing me down and wants to, it wants to push me down it doesn't want me to be happy right. at so what all what we're going to do right now out of your sympathetic nervous system is move out that reptilian <sighs> thank you here we go <laughs> here we go within Yaz's sympathetic nervous system cuddle cords and connections with the reptilian and send it to ether sympathetic nervous system reptilian false reptilian false okay there he goes lifting and leaving tell me what tell me when you feel a little something and what problem now for yes i feel i feel like there's some type of energy that's rising from my gut moving up i don't know what that is that's a reptilian leaving okay vortex. i don't know if it's gone though to be honest because it it's like it was a very stubborn one to get rid of okay. now, now <laughs> there's going to be a, a compound of, of problems now we're going to remove a vortex Okay, within and around Yaz, all Sith vortexes, false. Remove all Sith vortexes from Yaz, please. Okay, that vortex is coming down. And now what problem was in Yaz? Okay, big problem is, okay, let's look at hormones. Hormonal system is, okay, what we're going to do is take your hormonal system, your endocrine system, we're going to connect it to source. Right now, if, if anything wants to monkey with a human, get to their hormones, because that, that's going to make anybody crazy, it's going to make people do things that you wouldn't normally do, it's going to bring on emotion, it's going to create energy for the reptilians to feed off of. So we're going to just connect your endocrine system to source. <clears throat> he has his endocrine system source true endocrine system source true endocrine system he has his entire endocrine system source true <clears throat> that is now connecting to source a little calmer i think so okay what we're going to do is we're going to let you sit and, and, and cook for a minute. <clears throat> we're going to move on to, to Hilton. Hilton, what's your story, buddy? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, seeing. I see a patch on here. It's got to be something to do with that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> seeing clearly. I've had retinal detachment in both eyes and multiple surgeries uh, and... Uh, my right eye was my dominant eye throughout my life. Uh, four years ago when it detached and half a dozen surgeries later, it just never reconnected enough to regain its dominance. So it's patched now because the 1% of sight that it does have, just in a little crescent on the edge, um, gives me a lot more blackout. I've, okay. they, um, the doctors say they stopped measuring after what, 2020. 2200 they say is legally blind after 2400 they stop measuring i'm somewhere out in the ether okay, problem can, is can, can i say something uh hilton i don't know if you remember this but yes. when you were on the show with uh that girl that was with john of god do you remember yes. the story she told about a past life yes and i don't know if that's relevant chris uh, sometimes it is well, basically, if I remember correctly, she said, uh, Hilton, I think uh, that you were involved in the War of 1812 yes. uh, down in Niagara and yes. uh, saw a little too much stuff that you yes. would have preferred that you didn't see. Right. And, um, okay, and, and of, of course, yeah, that, that is, can be very relevant. 
Mm -hmm. um, and, and that takes a lot to, to get into. If, if there is a past life problem, all I do is I separate the past life from the timestamp, from your soul matrix, mm -hmm. uh, from, from your astral field, and from your body, and then it doesn't exist anymore. It's just an energy, it's a, it's a vestige of energy that's sitting there. What I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, put, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reestablish all the electrons within the retina of your eye. So, so Both there's a eyes. lot of free Please. radical cell should I, activity. Should I take off the eye patch? We'll make no, it easier. Okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, there's a lot of free radical cell activity, and it's damaging the retina. That's why That's, it's detaching. I'm going okay. to do this. So let's let's put okay. the, the electrons back in there. And he's okay. uh, he's asking for both eyes there. Uh, Chris. Yes. We'll we'll do both eyes. No problem. If you had four of them, we'd do all six. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Within the retinas of Hilton's eyes, electrons true. In the retinas of the left and right eye, electrons, true. So just by saying the word true, it puts them in there. In the retinas, electrons, true. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for this healing. Oh, you're more than welcome. Then the retinas, all electrons, true okay so electrons are now re-establishing within the retinas so what I'm going to do now is make the intent for the retinas to reattach and, and to heal to a, to a perfect vitality and to do that we're going to use tachyons okay send and use tachyons to repair the retinas and reattach them to the optic disc Send and use tachyons to repair all damage to the retinas. Reattach them to the optic disc. Okay, this is a very strong energy. I'm feeling a lot of pull off of it. Then Hilton's eyes. Send and use tachyons to repair all damage. Reconnect them to the optic disc. Perhaps as well as the corneas, which are distorted and, you know. Yeah. So do you feel any sensation in your eyes at all? Maybe a tingle or, or warmth or, or anything at all? Yeah, um, almost like a bit of a rumble. In, okay, in, so, so in, stuff is moving, stuff is yeah. happening. Yeah. Now, let's see. What problem do we now need to work on with in Hilton, please? Gee, if I can make the blind see, all i got to do is learn to walk on water. <laughs> problem is okay. it's throwing the energy off in my stomach like okay. something fierce right now Oof. what problem for health is high levels of okay what I'm finding is that there's high levels of sin within your eyes so so this may go back to a, a past life to something you've seen so we're gonna remove all of the sin and sin is generally when it has something to do with somebody's life taken a life, sacrificed a life, something to that nature. That's that, This is not sin like picking your nose and wiping it under the table. This is, this is something to do with somebody's life. So let's remove all the sin from your eyes. Within Hilton's eyes, all sin, false. Sin, false. Within the eyes, sin, false. Forgive all sin within the eyes. Okay, that is lifting. Does that change the energy at all? Uh, tears, uh, brighter right now, uh, burning. Wow. Okay, we're getting some movement. Getting some movement. A bit of emotion is not a bad thing, my friend. Yeah. Okay, what problem now for Hilton? 
I can walk on water in Winnipeg, and in the winter time, you can walk across the lake no problem. <laughs> <laughs> What problem? problem? I thought that was for 10 months of the year. <laughs> okay, big problem is, okay, the big problem is gone. Okay, this is good. So we're going to say, okay, let's, let's finish it up. Hilton's vision, true. Hilton's vision, 2020, true. We're just making the intent for the vision to improve. Hilton's vision 2020, true. There it is. So the intent is placed. What are you going to experience? There might be some improvement, okay? Ultimately, if we went a little further with this, um, things we could find more and more and more things and, and keep on, you can go almost forever doing energy, there's always something. But the, the fact that you're feeling something happening, you're feeling a little bit of shifting in the eyes, that tells me we, we're making some improvements already. Yes. I felt it myself when, uh, when you were telling the sin to uh, forgive all sin from the eye. I felt a sense of forgiveness from source. I felt it. Just sitting next to him. I also, I also felt like a disturbance in my stomach as well. Yeah, because you got a lot of stuff going on, Daniel. <laughs> you got a lot of stuff going on, my friend. <laughs> We're going to help Daniel today too, right? Yeah. Chris. Okay, Daniel. Chris, I also just yes. noticed a shift in, I, I had, there are very few things I allowed myself to hate, but I had hated seeing violence or hurt to others and didn't want to see it. Some of the ugliness of this world. And, 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 that, that, and that again, as, as I said before, we get up in the morning, look in the mirror and say, I, I'll never get out of this crummy job. What you said is, I never want to see violence again. I never want to see hurt or murder or dead bodies again. What happened? You went blind. So, so you know, there's an old saying, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. And yeah. that's probably one, one of the things that happened. One of the things involved is, is, is that they said, okay, no problem. You will never see this again. Wow. Very, very true. Life and death is in the power of the tongue, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you wish for, you just might get it. So as oh, I wish I got hit by a bus. Well, look out. As I've wanted to see light, I see a lot of flashing light. It's like um, a thousand photographers, and it's blinding most of the time, and, and massive headaches and eye stuff. And, and even now, it's just like... Wow. Do you, do you notice any improvement in your vision right now? It's just brighter, less fog. Okay, th this is a good thing. Awesome. Oh, let's let's do a quick one on, on the corneas, okay? Yes. Okay. Focus. What is the problem within the corneas and lenses? And the problem is within the corneas. Okay, we're going to go for the lenses. Lenses. Act on the lenses and say, all right. Also, Chris, I've had, from my earliest recollection, double vision. Okay. And one eye was patched as a child and another has gone back and forth as different eyes have been dominant or more capable. Uh, so it's almost like I was only able to, to function with, with sight from one eye because the double vision just was made things worse. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with, with the lenses and corneas. Use tachyons to repair the damage yeah. and to bring them up to full vitality. Yes. Okay. Because we've taken away the stressor, which is the sin. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, that was the basic one. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> and a unified, a unified vision, maybe. Okay. Within Hilton's corneas and lenses, send and use tachyons to repair all damage and re return vision to 2020 unified harmonized vision send and use tachyons to repair the corneas and lenses 
return into full vitality. Okay, now we've done that within all of the electrons. Within that lenses and corneas, electrons, true. Electrons, true. Okay, electrons are now realigning. Okay, we're gonna put you on hold for a minute. We're gonna go to Daniel. All right, thank you. Okay. You're so very welcome, it's my pleasure. Okay, Daniel, you told me what's going on. You wanna tell everybody else? Uh, paranoid schizophrenia and uh, pity mad seizures. Okay, so, so now you, of course, you hear voices. Yes. Okay, I'll tell you right now, the voices are there. Okay, they're, they're not something coming out of nothing. The voices are really there. Now, when you have a seizure, what, what leads up to the seizure? Um, I, I don't know. It's just they happen... It happen every once and some every once in a while during random events. Just school during school was one of them. One of the times when I was in school, a lot of the times I would get that problem, and then also they they because of that they sent me into a special ed class, but that didn't seem to be helping much either. Okay, so there's nothing that really leads up to it, no, no event that, that triggers it, nothing triggers it, it just kind of happens whenever it happens? Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody else in your family that has this? Uh, my, sister, my sister had epilepsy. What about okay. your, your cousin, uh, Phil? Yeah, my cousin as well, but we're not related by blood. Okay, that doesn't matter. Okay, let's see, what problem, what do we need to do first for Daniel? Okay, and the problem is within his, okay, the problem is within the brain, there is a shamanic, shamanic reptilian within his, okay, we're going to remove shamanic reptilian from your brain. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. It's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna Let's hurt. Do it. <laughs> Here we go. Within Daniel's ready? brain, yeah. cut all cords and connections with the shamanic reptilian and send it to ether. Within the brain, Daniel's brain, shamanic reptilian false. Shamanic reptilian false. He's fighting back a little bit. Shamanic reptilian false in the brain. Shamanic reptilian. There it goes. That is now lifted. Let me know if you feel any sensation. Okay, you might feel uplifted, you might feel a chill or something. What problem now for Daniel, please? Problem is I do feel a lot calmer. There we go. Okay, brain. Okay, brain stem is is remove. Okay, within Daniel's brain stem, entire brain stem, Lucifer's gin, false. In the brain stem, Lucifer's gin, false. Send him to ether. Okay, so they are leaving your brain stem. I could feel that. Beautiful. <laughs> what problem now for Daniel, please? The problem is within his, within the brain stem <clears throat> is high levels of... <clears throat> Then the brainstem, all witchcraft, false. Lift all witchcraft from the brain. Shamanic witchcraft in the brainstem, false. Shamanic 
shamanic witchcraft and the brainstem is leaving. Now we got to get rid of the manifestation because the witchcraft creates something in the brainstem. Then Daniel's brainstem manifestations of shamanic witchcraft false. That is not leaving. Yeah. Starting to feel a little lighter? Yeah, definitely. Okay, wow. Calmer too. Wow. And I've felt in a long time. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, brother. All right, what problem now for Daniel? The problem is a big problem is the big problem is gone. And the brainstem is. Okay. Within Daniel's brainstem, electrons are true. Entire brainstem within the, the pons, Atlas Wedge, Abdullah Mangara, entire brainstem, electrons are true. Electrons are true. All cells in the brainstem. Electrons are true. There we go. Things should start to go back together really quick. I did this method with, with uh, someone in, in Scotland this morning with ALS, putting the electrons back together, and he said he felt something. We've worked about 10 times already, trying to get something to move, trying to figure, figure him out. And we did the, the electron thing, and all of a sudden he felt something change because his muscles are always twitching with the ALS, and they stop twitching. So that tells me there is some there's validity to, to making that intent to correct that problem. How's that feeling now? Um, definitely better. Definitely okay. better. I've I've I felt movement in that area. In that Very area nice. in my brainstem. Okay, well, we're gonna ask the question a little differently here. Uh, what question is optimal for Daniel? Okay, so we're going to ask, where is the most congestion within Daniel's body? So for the most part, for everybody, I've been using my letter chart, talking with source. Now we're going to go into the chart system and see what it says, okay? Where is the most congestion within Daniel? All right, most congestion within Daniel, please. This gets a little more specific. Okay, we're going to look within the dark matter of your body. Dark matter is all the spaces between the cells and molecules, okay? Now, what is causing congestion in the dark matter within Daniel's body? Okay. What is causing congestion in the dark matter of Daniel's body? Okay, now, this, this is interesting. I like this answer because I, I just put this answer in here just before the show started. It's something I, I came across and discovered and, and consider it as a, as a possibility. So we are carbon-based life forms. If there was something that, that was not human, uh, let's say a rock or a robot. We would consider that a silicon based life form. So we're going to remove a silicon based life form from the dark matter of your body. Silicon? Silicon based, yes. Okay. Here we go. In the dark matter of Daniel's body, silicon based life forms, false. Send them to ether. Silicon based life forms. False. Well, we're getting some resistance, so there's definitely something there. That is now lifting. Let me know if you feel any shift from that one. My stomach feels lighter. Nice, okay. Wish I could make my stomach feel lighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna carry on with that question. Now I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on you because if we if we stop at a certain point and don't close the door, it could backlash on you a little bit. I don't want that to happen. Did that to somebody on one radio show once and it was like, whoa, what happened to this person? It wasn't wasn't nice. So you gotta finish the job. Okay, now where is a silicon based life form within Daniel? It was a Randy Morgan show. <laughs> okay, now, where is silicon based life form within Daniel? Okay, we're going to go into the, the carbon, carbon element. Daniel's carbon element, silicon based life form, false. Take it to ether. Silicon based life form false. That is not leaving. Okay, now let's go back to the letter chart source. What problem do we need to work on within Daniel? And the problem is. Okay, so just spelling out that bling is here. I don't know what that means. Okay. Now, the problem within Daniel is reptilians are within his... Okay, let's get him out of your sympathetic. Daniel's sympathetic nervous system, reptilians, false. Send them to ether. Cast out the reptilian. From the sympathetic nervous system. Say goodbye to anxiety. Reptilian is leaving. Problem now for Daniel, please. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask specifically about the voices. See if we can get an, an answer. What is the cause of the voices within Daniel? Cause of voices is the cause of the voices is gone. Okay. Now seizures is is gone. And the okay. The intent The intent to heal Daniel is, is, intent to heal Daniel is, okay, the intent to heal you is made. We've made the intent that is now going to carry out and you're going to feel more changes. All of you are going to feel changes for the next 12 to 24 hours. It'll take that long for all the energy to process. There'll be little bits and pieces leaving here and there. It'll be sitting there. All of a sudden, you feel a wave of energy. You'll feel a shift go through you. Tomorrow morning, you'll wake up and go, wow. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. How, how are you feeling, Yaz? Um, I wanted to bring up the fact that uh, I went to see a virology doctor. He told me that the ego is connected to your nervous system and your hormones. So I was wondering if you could just ask that on the chart. Okay. Now, what is the ego? The ego is that reptilian. Uh, somebody, a reptilian, they, they have uh, the, the personality, lots of anger, lots of confrontation, very competitive, very uh, egotistical, uh, ve very in your face. Like if you were to meet somebody of a high reptilian energy and they're very, very competitive and they're, they're always yelling and screaming, a lot of anger, that type of thing, they're high reptilian. Let's check your ego. Okay? My ego I, I don't, is I don't damaged. Know. He said my ego is damaged in my eyes. So I wanted to just ask that. Okay, what is what is the problem within Yaz's ego? Okay, and the problem is okay, big problem is gone. Okay, um, sin is 
the problem. So sin was the problem. It's now gone. You sin? felt it leave when I worked on Hilton. Sin was the problem? Sin was the problem in your ego. Oh. Something I may have done a long time ago? Yeah. Um, gen generally, it's going to be a past life. And as I said, if you've done some kind of satanic worship, some, some kind of, of sacrifice, something like that, something to do with somebody's life or offering of somebody's life is generally what it's going to be. Okay. Um, when I just want to ask a question. When I was a child growing up to about a teenager and to some part an adult, my father used to do a lot of research with Caribbean religions, so when I was, when he was doing his research, I was usually there with him in these countries of the Caribbean. Could that have impacted? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very, it, it, it not necessarily, but you know what, uh, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, you're in, in harm's way. What he's doing those things the caribbean religions lots of voodoo lots of black magic lot, lots of different incantations that, that they'll use um they can be very strong um you know as you said yeah as you went into a, a shop with somebody uh was it uh, santeria yeah okay you know what uh the, the uh, puerto rican uh, is very strong with santeria there's, there's a lot of different uh, areas of, of uh, central america that are very much into it and uh, that's the same as if you go to the Middle East, okay, they, they practice Sharia law, okay, which activates, with manipulates jinn. And that's the same thing that all these other, other things do is, is they end up manipulating jinn to go in and do something for you, okay, to make, make a problem. So you're in, you're in the, you know, the crosshairs of a gun when, when you're around that, when it's happening. It, it, it's, it's certainly a possibility, yes. So let, let's see, Daniel, if within you is any of that energy. Okay, what problem do we need to work on within Daniel? Problem is, okay, spelling out the Caribbean magic is within his, within his father's soul. Okay, so you didn't get hit. You, you didn't get it, but it, there was a problem that was caused possibly by that same energy, but it's not within you. It's in your father's soul. You may have, you know, received that through your father, but you don't have it. Well, my father passed away uh, a long time ago. He suddenly collapsed in the subway. And, uh, well, I've always thought that was very odd. Yeah, you, you have to know that these energies are extremely strong. They're, they really don't discern, okay? They, they, they are ruthless, they're strong. They, you know, you look at so many people nowadays with all of these huge, huge problems. Where do they come from? That, and the medical community really has no answers. They'll speculate, oh, it's genetic, it's in your DNA. It, you know, that, that's, that's the best that they can do. I'm not going to bash the medical system because you know, God love them. We, we, we need them. Source love them. We need them. Okay, you don't want me stitching up your intestines back in your body after a car accident. That's for sure. So the medical community works within this box of science. I work within this non-box of anything is possible. Um, so, so where do all of these wicked, wicked health problems come from? All these things that that cause people to to walk with their arms flailing. What? Where do these voices come from? Where? Where do all of this this stuff come from? It's it's all in this etheric realm that we can't see, feel, or heal or or see. So, you have to be open-minded to the whole concept of of something else is here. Okay, ET is here. Disclosure has happened. Look on the internet; it's everywhere. Disclosure has happened. Is there uh, gray aliens or reptilians? Who cares? It doesn't matter. We can take care of them now. We've got the ability to do it. We have the knowledge now that, that we, can, we can actually do something about it. Uh, is there spaceships? If there is, great, whatever. Go for a ride. It doesn't matter, okay? Is, is there a base on the moon? Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. When are we going to find out? Let's go to the moon and have a look, okay? But right now, it's, a lot of stuff is conspiracy. You got to learn to 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 separate and filter the conspiracy 
And ultimately, whatever is in your heart, whatever your heart says, it's called thinking heart-mind, that's what the answer really is. If you believe, if your heart says that, that is there, then it's there, okay? Don't question it. It's, it's faith in your heart, it's faith in source, it's faith in what you believe in. Okay, so all of these health problems, they all have a, an energy component, they all have a beginning, okay? And, and it does start to change the, the physical components in your body. It changes the electrons, changes the protons, it changes the way the cell works, and then your body starts to break down. That's, that's aging, okay? That, that is true aging. So as you get older, your eyes, your vision goes away. Your memory's not as good because everything is breaking down because these electrons are separating, okay? And it's because of, of the energies. Now, we look at all of the garbage co chemicals we're putting into our body, aspartame, glyphosate, uh, you name it, elemental P, all of these things, uh, the aluminum from deodorants, okay? All of this stuff, is, is clogging up the cells and it's causing the, the electrons to separate and it's causing the cells to break down. That's, that's really what's going on here. Two different things to look at, the energy component, the nasty component, and, and the physical component. Chris, I just want to ask you about, uh, and, and you know, if we're not done with uh, these uh, guys, uh, then let's c continue. I figure we got about 15, 20 minutes left. Um, but uh, you mentioned that uh, you know anybody watching this and, and seeing you using that uh, geometric uh, device that you got would be helped uh, similarly. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Well, um, when we're when I'm, when I'm doing these demonstrations, okay, and I call them demonstrations. It's not a full out healing, but it is accomplishing something. I've always noticed that um, if, if there's a chat box or, or, or uh, a call in line. People are, are, are commenting, whoa, did I feel that? Whoa, I had to go puke. You know, <laughs> so, so the energy is going everywhere. Okay, it's being transmitted through, through the internet. And if you're listening to it, you, you might, and if that problem is within you and I make that intent to remove it, it just might go in and take it out of you too. Okay, so, so you know, that's why I always say, I make a little disclaimer, if you don't want to participate, just make the intent. I don't want to participate and, and it won't, won't happen. Uh, you know, we, we've seen all kinds of things happen uh, doing these radio shows. It, it, it is a wonderful, wonderful way to, to show how this works. Now, do we have time to do any more or anyone else? What about you? Uh, <laughs> Chris, um, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, do, yeah, go ahead, who, sorry. Who? who? Uh, I got somebody else in the other room I'm going to go uh, talk to. Um, and. Um, and how about me? I don't f feel anything physical, but uh, I'm just wondering because you got, you know, your, I don't know what you're doing, but you know, there's maybe something that's not physical that. Okay, let's 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 do this. Uh, let's do something that everyone can experience. Okay. okay? And it, it, right now, this this is all about experiencing the energy and feeling a shift and knowing that something happened. Okay. Now, um, what if we're going to do this for everyone listening? This is beneficial for everyone. We're going to use uh, a neutralization ring, okay? This is one of my neutralization rings. What this does is it pulls negative energies off of your body, it cleans up the aura, it takes all the vestiges off, and, and uh, helps the whole process to continue, okay? So what I need everybody to do is to stand up, okay? Standing of the up. We're all standing up. You all standing up? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my microphone in here. Now, I'm going to make the intent to place a gold neutralization ring between the feet of people in the room and people listening at home. Now, you tell me when you feel a sensation of heaviness, off balance, or some tingling. If you, if you notice, I'm rocking back and forth too on this. Yeah, I, I do. Well, I'm rocking too. I'm starting to rock. Yeah, yeah that's pushing me back. Okay. Yeah. So it is working. So we're going to give this about two minutes. Now, everybody at home, you're going to feel this. I made the intent. It's all about intent. What, what do I intend to do? Place one of these rings between your feet to do this work, to, to do the clearing. It's 
not too often that happens with me. Okay. So can everybody feel a little something going on? Yes. 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 No denying that that this is working. That that's what the benefit of these sacred geometry tools is, is that they they already have a built in intent to do something. These these rings are intended just to clear energy off of your body. You don't have to say anything or or, or tell them what to do. This is what they're intended to do. All right, everybody have a seat, please. And all you people at home have a seat, too. So what that did is it, is it just finished the job. We, we just cleaned the slate and we closed the door on that clearing. Okay, we, some people call it a backfill. But what, what this did is it finished the job. Where did Hugh take off to? Did we scare him away? <laughs> I'm running the cameras here. I feel a tingle in my left leg again. I don't know if it came back or what. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's have a look. Some, sometimes this loosens something up. What is the tingle within Yaz's left leg? And the tingle is... Is... Yeah, something is leaving. Okay, so that just sped up the process a little bit. So there's something leaving. <clears throat> You. I'm here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm you, not you sure. Have somebody, I... you, have, you have somebody else for me? Oh well, well we have Lalo here. Uh, I brought her in for the. Uh, there she is uh, for the uh, that uh, that general clearing there. And Lalo, I don't know if. Uh... Well, I actually want to ask you a question because I um, have looked at sacred geometry and looked at energy healing, and I do. Um, a little bit of it myself, but you know, only when somebody is in my sphere, and um, I don't go looking for it necessarily. Now, I think Hugh, you were about to say that you, you weren't sure if you felt anything. Is that correct? Yeah. And so my question is, is that I come across people uh, sometimes as well, who, you know, I'm, I'm actually feeling a lot of your energy right now while. I'm talking to you, so it's kind of making it hard to focus. But um, so, uh, do you know if there's a way for us to open up the energy channels and a way to open the door, uh, something like maybe an opening or an activation that would help someone who's not able to experience the feeling of these energy exchanges? Um. The, the answer is yes, but what I find within what I do is, is if you don't feel the energy right away, in a day or so you might, or in a, two hours, or, some people have a delay. And, and when I first started doing this, I thought something was wrong because somebody wasn't feeling the energy. But what I realized is that, that there could be a delay, or your body just isn't sensitive. You don't have to feel it for it to work. But you know, the, the answer to that is yes, there, you know, we could focus on that to see what needs to be activated, opened, or cleared in order for, for things to, to be felt. Hmm, excellent. Maybe we should ask that for, for Hugh. Ask what Hugh okay. needs activated, yeah. opened, or cleared. All right, for Hugh to feel quantum energy. What is the problem? Problem is, okay. Okay, this crown chakra is crown chakra is closed. Oh. Let's open Hugh's crown chakra, shall we? Yeah, that sounds oh. like a great idea. Okay, <laughs> Hugh's crown chakra, true. Crown chakra, true. Crown chakra true. There, it is now open. Excellent. It is now open. Now, what problem do we need to work on within a hue? Problem is his socks don't match his runners. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's true, but not today. <laughs> okay. 
Hugh's entire chakra system true activate Hugh's entire chakra system mm -hmm. Hugh's chakra system true okay there it is Oof. there it goes now it's going to take a little bit of time for that chakra system to completely activate and open but all of a sudden you might start to feel a little bit of incoming we call it i can feel uh, actually i could feel um some kind of uh like a dome well my temples are hard to say Tingling, what but i like sort of pressure. like a or a rumbling or yeah okay sensation that, that, that chakra is opening good okay <laughs> What problem now for Hugh is, is, is chakra system. All right, Hugh's chakra system, source true. Connect Hugh's chakra system directly to source. Hugh's chakra system, source true. There you go, now you're plugged in. Nice. <laughs> okay, that's that awesome. That is wonderful. Thank you. Now, before, like, we still got like uh, I have, five, I have a five minutes. Okay, Hilton, go. Okay. So, Chris. Yes. From as early as I can remember, I have struggled with, I guess, my real willingness to be here the sense of being human, yet wanting to be, you know, uh, for lack of better words, you know, better, you know, divine, you know, one, not two. So the thinking, and, and I live so much of my youth and, and, and life in my head, and as I've worked to align my emotions you know, and, and my body into one action, one life, one light, one love. I still find myself battling what I perceive as darkness, you know, where I might perceive it outside in the world or in someone else, and I take it on within, and then I'm stuck. And I'd like some help with this. Okay, um, we're gonna do a couple we don't have time to go deep in it because that that's a concept that needs some time okay I know what you're I know what you're talking about and I know I, I've done that type of thing and that that is multiple multiple clearings and possibly going into past lives and, and picking those out a little bit but I'm gonna do two things that are gonna help rise you up above that a little bit okay all right all right Hugh Hugh's higher self source true yes. higher self source true okay that is connecting now Hughes soul source true Hughes soul source true now Hughes heart source true Hughes heart sourced true. All right, now here's what we're going to do. Within Hugh, heart, mind, thinking true. Heart, mind, true. Okay, so what we did is, is connected a whole bunch of stuff to the good stuff, and we put you in a heart-mind mode, so that you're all, not always thinking about what's going on, what's going on. You're, you're taking the ego out of it by thinking heart-mind, okay? So now everything is going to rest here. When you think of something, the right thing to do, it's going to rest here instead of trying to logically figure it out. Thank you. And, and by, by following your heart, you're going to realize, okay, it's not such a big deal. Beautiful. I think some good things happened here today, didn't it? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now here's Lalo. Got a couple minutes. Lalo here. She's got. Uh, I don't know. Is there anything you can um, specifically? Uh, uh, you know, glean about Hirsch and uh, Lalo. I don't know. Do you want to make a comment first on this? Well, um, I know we don't have very much time. I want to say uh, thank you very much for demonstrating all of this because I think that this is the new uh, medicine. I think energy medicine is the new medicine, and that uh, this might all seem very strange and. Um, um, uh, unbelievable, but in fact, um, it's not, and I'm I'm definitely feeling it. Now I'm coming in kind of late here. I myself suffer from symptoms related to post-traumatic stress disorder, which are connected to uh, experiences of you know deep experiences of fear, mm -hmm. and um, so as much healing as I've done, or as much wisdom teachings as I've taken in, um, I can still be triggered and just, you know, kind of sent right into the stratosphere emotionally. Okay. So, yeah. Let's do a couple quick clearings here. Um, okay. Uh, how do you say your name again? Penny. Penny. Okay. Penny. Within Penny, sympathetic nervous system, reptilian false. Cast out the reptilian from Penny's sympathetic nervous system into ether. Okay, that reptilian is leaving. Penny's sympathetic nervous system, true. Source, true. Penny's sympathetic nervous system, source, true. Okay, now within Penny's soul, post-traumatic stress, false. Lift all post-traumatic stress, Penny's soul, Lots in there, lots in there, dear. Yeah. Post-traumatic stress in the soul, false. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Yeah, that is lifting out. That in itself is going to make a big difference. I actually feel, like I can actually feel energy literally rising up in my body. So now when you work on yourself, if you do some energy work, it's going to be so easy now. We, we pulled the plug out of, out of the bottle and now everything is going to flow out. Wow. My neck just cracked to confirm that. <laughs> nice. Wow, I feel really nice. <laughs> I do. I don't wow, know why, but I'm very drugs, relaxed man. right now. What? I'm very, I felt very relaxed when he was talking about the PTSD wow. coming yeah, yeah, out because yeah, 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 yeah. I felt that too. Right. Okay, Chris, this is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, the uh, uh, it's having a big effect on everybody, and uh, and I just want to say thank you for doing this today. And um, uh, now, now what you know, people watching this, you know, I, I guess people can get in touch with you. Obviously, you can do the healing work uh, uh, to, uh, to anywhere in, on the planet. Yes. Um, do you want to maybe just tell people how they can get in touch and in, any any final words you want to leave people with today? Absolutely. My, my website is chriskaler.net, C-H-R-I-S-K-E-H-L-E-R.net. Um, if you want to book an appointment, right now I'm booked up into November, okay? But it's worth the wait, all right? It's worth the wait. I recommend people book at least three appointments, one a week consecutively. That way we can get the job done. So my, my fees for this is $70 a session cheapest you're gonna find anywhere okay most people do this work are a hundred hundred fifty three hundred dollars okay I like to keep it at a, at a level where people can can afford it and I don't need to make a million bucks you know things are good in my world I don't need all that money um, so check out my website chriskaler.net you can book an appointment online I have a ton of videos on YouTube okay a lot of other radio shows I've done my own radio show on Pyramid One Network is on there, and a lot of little mini videos that I do updates, maybe once a month, once a week, different things I find, I do an update. So lots of information on YouTube. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. I'm everywhere. You can't get away from me. Nice. I just want to know if you could just spell your last name one more time in case people are just listening. 
The last name is Kaler, K-E-H-L-E-R. Excellent. And that's the website, chriskaler.net. And Chris, uh, thanks again for doing this. And uh, please, if you're coming to Toronto ever, uh, come visit us uh, in person. We would love to meet you. Anything can happen. And you know what? I'd love to meet you guys. Okay. It'd be great Thank to have you. you. Thank you. Thank you from the you. bottom of my Thank heart. You. Blessings to everyone. Thank Blessings Thank to you, you Chris. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So I guess that's it for this special edition of Liquid Lunch. And uh, thanks to Chris, of course. And thanks to you guys for coming in today. And uh, I hope it was uh, worthwhile. I know it was, actually. Truly so, special. Thank yeah. you for being so special, Hugh. Awesome. Thank you, Hilton. So uh, thanks, everybody. And we'll uh, keep our eyes on uh, the results as we move forward. So uh, that's it. Here from thatchannel.com, everybody. Awesome. We'll see you next time. See you. Watch that channel. See you. <laughs> <laughs>